Of course, we'll have a report on the impending job cuts at Anglo-American Platinum later on in the bulletin, but they do tend to bring into sharp focus one of the biggest challenges facing South Africa and much of the rest of the African continent as well. Unemployment, and more so especially unemployment amongst the youth. It's one of the central themes of the ongoing World Economic Forum in Africa in Cape Town, South Africa. Nine heads of state and government are attending this year's World Economic, Con World Economic Forum on Africa meeting, which kicked off with a warm welcome by the South African head of state, Jacob Zuma, who said it provided a huge opportunity for his country to showcase itself to investors. Now, despite the upbeat mood struck at the opening, though, many leaders are clearly concerned about what they describe as a continent's youth bulge. Young people aged between 15 and 25 represent more than 60% of the continent's entire population and they account for 45% of the total labor force. Addressing unemployment among this enormous segment clearly is one of the main issues being discussed at the forum. CCTV's Sumitra Naidu is in Cape Town. She filed this report. <laughs> Most African countries are recording growth of over 6%, which is higher than the rest of the world, except for Asia. But poverty and unemployment is rising on the continent, and the discontent is growing. Understand that 20% of the population has 2% of the wealth. The difference in earnings between a CEO and the average wage in this country is, is almost 300 times more. In some cases, if you compare the top with the bottom, it's 1,500 times more. Youth unemployment is expected to continue rising over the next five years. According to the UN, the Middle East has the highest youth unemployment rate in the world at over 28%. North Africa follows at 23.7%. Young women are the worst hit in both regions. We now have 200 million people unemployed, which is a post-war record. And there's no prospect in the immediate that this is going to change a great deal. The world has to create 600 million jobs in the next decade, just to mark time with uh, the demographic changes that we see. One of the changes that is being seen is a shift back into agriculture, an area that is receiving a lot of attention at this year's World Economic Forum meeting. Agriculture in Africa is being seen as a means to address unemployment, reduce poverty and ensure food security. I think it is a duty of our continent, of Africa, to get into not agriculture, but agribusiness, I would call it. Because agriculture, what we've been calling agriculture, should be seen as a business. That is, people should be able to make money out of it and at the same time feed the world. You see, the world is going through a urbanization. A lot of people are leaving the countryside. Who is going to feed all those people living in the cities? Africa currently has more than 60% of the unused Arab land. It's an information that is known. But how do you transform that asset into something that produces food for the rest of the world? But in a world dominated by technology, will the agricultural sector attract the interests of young people? If the young people see an opportunity to make money, they will go there. You see, I was recently talking to young people, African, who are graduated from uh, American University and who have stayed there because they were making easy money at Wall Street and places like that. But now that Wall Street is facing difficulties, they are thinking about coming back home. Why? Because they want to find a job and they want to make money. So if we are able and we should work towards that, to make agriculture or agribusiness attractive for people to make money. I have no doubt that the young people will go there. Efforts are certainly being made to entice young people back into agriculture, and Africa is attracting the investment to make it work. USAID, the Agency for International Development, has joined the African Development Bank and the Swedish government to launch the Agriculture Fast Track Fund here at the WEF meeting in Cape Town. The fund is the first of its kind that will encourage greater private investment in agriculture infrastructure projects in sub-Saharan Africa. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Cape Town.